Hello my friends, in this video we are supposed to talk about one of the features of material takeoff in Revit. Well, as you may know, in order to schedule the materials, you should go to view and schedules here, material takeoff. For example, assume that we want to use that for the walls. And after you select the walls here, you should select the informations that you want. For example, family type, since I need separation of types of walls. And after that, I should go to materials here, material area and volume and name. I need all of them. And here I need to, for example, put it uh, at the bottom. It's up to you. Yes, it doesn't matter. You can put them however you like. Sort by material name and click on blank line. And I need grand totals as well. And here I wanted to calculate totals of area and volumes as well. As you can see, I have these materials here. And each of these materials, which is used in all walls of the project, their area is like that and their volume as well. And you can see that in each wall it is used. For example, if a material is used in two models of wall, then it gives you the names of them. And now let me tell you something. For example, for one of these materials, I want you to pay attention to elevation stone here. Remember the area here, 468. Most of the walls that you can see here, uh, their materials are elevation stone. And now uh, we know that we have a tool in Revit which is called Paint. For example, assume that for any reason, I want to change a part of this wall's material. After you did click on split face, I did create a line there and another one for the under part and finish and as you can see I did separate that part and you should click on pin and as you can see these materials that we have here I want to choose this one ceramic and I used for that part and maybe you think that it decreased the area of elevation stone and as I told you before, you should have remembered the number 468. And as you can see, it's not changed. Well, it is a subject that you should pay attention to in schedules. How to solve this problem. In fields, when you go to edit here, material as paint. When you add this one here, and let me put it upper, yes. And when you click on OK, you see something here. Well, as you can see, Ceramica is as paint, but the others are not. And as you can see, the area and it is used for this wall that it's written here. Hence, you should subtract this area from this area here. Uh, all right, this is a very important point that you should pay attention to since if you don't, the schedules will give you the wrong statistics. So if you want to be able to adjust the accurate schedules and to learn this kind of tricks, you can provide this cursor of the Revit schedules from me.